Back in with the meeting on the mound that is Garrett Cole for the Yankees. He leads the American League with 184 Ks. Mitch White makes his third start as a Blue Jays. Allowed four earned runs and nine in the third for Toronto so far. He makes his first start at Yankee Stadium, but there's a twist to that as the Rash Danny fills us in. Well, Brad, I have to tell you, my spies tell me this is not your first game here. You have been a spectator here in your professional career, so it's not the first trip to the Bronx. What do you remember yeah. about coming to Yankee Stadium before? <laughs> You're good. I think the last time I was here was the uh, it was the wild card in 18 or 19 or whatever when they played the A's. Um, so that was a cool atmosphere, obviously, playoff situation, one and done game. Um, that was fun. But I grew up coming here. I have family in um, in Manhattan. So we'd go to the old Yankee Stadium. I had a few games there when I was a kid, a few games here. So it's been fun. And the parents are coming for today's start? Yep. My parents surprised me. They said, oh, you know, I think we're going to be in the area. Do you think we could get some tickets? So they'll be out, which will be fun. My uncle will be here, my aunt. So it'll be nice. This has been a whirlwind, obviously. Trade deadline and everything that, that that's kind of happened. When along the way do you feel comfortable in a new environment? I mean, the first few days, of course, are craziness, just meeting everyone, all the staff, players, obviously. But honestly, the, the team and everyone in the organization has been great. It's been pretty easy relative um, to what I expected. I think so far it's been awesome and hoping to just kind of keep that rolling. So what's, what's the small talk? What's the preamble when you're meeting somebody for the first time? What are the questions? What are the answers? It's just the spiel, you know, a lot of, a lot of questions about the Dodgers, a lot of questions like, oh, where'd you grow up? How are you doing? Where'd you go to school? That kind of stuff. But I'm used to it by now. It's not too bad, you know. What's your best stripling story? Stripling story? I don't know. I don't really have one. No? No. Um, we were together for a little bit, mostly in spring training, but unfortunately I didn't get a chance to play with him as much on the team. Um, but he's been great, obviously, in spring training. He was great to kind of pick his brain, and we've been in a similar role with the Dodgers, and now coming over here, obviously, I've kind of mirrored his path. So hopefully I can just have the success he's had just keep doing what he's yeah, exactly. what he's doing look weekend opportunity to start uh weekend opportunity division opponent playoff race all those kinds of things what's the mindset coming into it i mean it's no different i mean obviously i haven't pitched here but i imagine it'll be just like any other big ballpark it'll be fun it'll be exciting i'm ready to do it what uh like where are you at right now with with where your stuff is with where the mindset is with six weeks to go in a season I feel I feel good. I think the arm has middle of the season. It was kind of barking a little bit, and now at this point we've gotten past that. Um, and it's just about fine tuning things. There's not any big wholesale delivery changes or pitch changes or any of that. Just small game planning things, and I feel really good about where everything's at. Yeah, Mitch, that's so interesting because I think fans often look at the number on the back of the baseball card or on Baseball Reference, and they they expect something if you're not on the injured list. A lot of players don't talk about they're dealing with some kind of physical issue, arm issue, something like that. How have you learned to manage that in season? I mean, it's crazy because everyone in this clubhouse or all these clubhouses around the league is dealing with some little nagging thing one, one way or the other. Um, so it's helpful to lean on the other guys. Obviously the training room, the trainers and staff here are great. They've helped me manage some things and then just talk to other players like, the difference between being hurt and sore and achy and whatever it is. Um, and the best way to do it is just to feel it out and go from there. You can't really, there's no blueprint necessarily, but you can get advice. Is there a dude you're looking forward to facing over there? Oh, I don't know. I mean, once I go through the lineup, we'll, we'll kind of pick and choose, but there's obviously a few guys over there you gotta be careful around. And so hopefully we'll uh, do a good job there. Appreciate the time, man. Yeah, Enjoy course. it in front of the family. Yeah, thank you very much for having me.